Have you ever wondered how to mine Ethereum? Well, you're in for a treat today. Ethereum mining is a captivating process that involves the use of computational power to solve complex mathematical problems. It's a crucial part of the Ethereum network that ensures security and maintains its decentralized nature. Over the years, Ethereum mining has gained popularity due to its potential benefits. You see, miners are rewarded with Ether, the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum network. But it's not all about the rewards. The thrill of solving these problems, contributing to the Ethereum community, and the potential of the technology itself, are also significant draws. Now, imagine mining 37.6 Ethereums at the ripe age of 35. Sounds like a dream come true, doesn't it? But remember, as with any investment, there are risks involved. So, are you ready to explore this fascinating world? Let's dive into the fascinating process of Ethereum mining. To comprehend Ethereum mining, we need to understand the blockchain and Ethereum. So what is blockchain? In the simplest terms, a blockchain is a digital ledger that is decentralized and transparent. It's a type of database that collects information in groups, known as blocks. Each block carries a certain number of transactions and when filled, it's chained onto the previously filled block, forming a chain of data known as the blockchain. Blockchain technology is the backbone of cryptocurrency because it fosters decentralization, transparency, and security. It's like a public ledger that records every transaction and is accessible to anyone on the network, making it nearly impossible to manipulate or forge transactions. Now let's talk about Ethereum. Ethereum is a blockchain-based platform with its own cryptocurrency called Ether or ETH. It's similar to Bitcoin but with a few key differences. Ethereum's blockchain does more than just support a digital currency. It also enables smart contracts and distributed applications (dApps) to be built and run without any downtime, fraud, control, or interference from a third party. Smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement directly written into lines of code. This means they're not just a tool for sending money, they can carry complex sets of instructions and can automatically execute these agreements. Ethereum's unique capabilities have made it a major player in the digital currency world, but it's also made mining a bit more complex compared to Bitcoin. Mining Ethereum involves more than just verifying transactions. Miners also need to execute smart contracts and dApps, which requires a bit more computational power. Now that we have a basic grasp on blockchain and Ethereum, we can proceed to the actual mining process. Ethereum mining is a process that requires a certain level of technological expertise, but don't worry, we'll simplify it for you. Let's start by understanding what mining is. In the world of Ethereum, mining is the process of validating and recording transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. Miners are the individuals or entities who undertake this task. They use powerful computer systems to solve complex mathematical problems. The first miner to solve a problem gets to add a new block of transactions to the blockchain. Now you might be wondering, why do miners go through all this trouble? Well, it's not just out of the goodness of their hearts. Miners are motivated by a reward system. Each time a miner adds a new block to the blockchain, they receive a certain amount of Ether, the native cryptocurrency of the Ethereum network. This is known as the block reward. But there's a catch. The Ethereum network uses a mechanism known as proof of work. This means that miners must prove that they have done the work by solving the mathematical problem. Proof of work is a way to ensure that the blockchain remains secure and decentralized. In essence, the process of Ethereum mining can be broken down into three simple steps. First, miners listen for transactions being broadcasted on the Ethereum network. Second, they gather these transactions into a block and solve the mathematical problem associated with that block. And finally, once the problem is solved, they add the block to the blockchain and receive their reward. However, it's important to note that Ethereum mining is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires a significant investment in computer equipment and electricity. Moreover, as more miners join the network, the difficulty of the mathematical problems increases, which makes it harder to earn rewards. With these basics in mind, let's move on to the equipment required for Ethereum mining. Mining Ethereum isn't just about having the right knowledge, it's also about having the right equipment. To start mining Ethereum, there are a few essentials you'll need. The first and most important is the graphics processing unit or GPU. Unlike Bitcoin which requires specialized hardware called ASICs, Ethereum mining is still possible with consumer-grade graphics cards. The key here is to choose a GPU that provides the best hash rate to power consumption ratio. Some popular choices among miners are the NVIDIA RTX 3080 
and the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. Next on the list is mining software. There are numerous options out there but some of the most popular ones include Claymore's Dual Ethereum Miner, for those who want to dual mine Ethereum and other coins, and Phoenix Miner, which is known for its stability and efficiency. Now don't forget about a stable internet connection. While mining doesn't require a lot of bandwidth, it does need a connection that's stable, as any downtime will directly impact your mining results. Once you've got all these in place, it's time to set up your mining rig. First off, ensure your GPU is properly installed and that your system recognizes it. Then, install your chosen mining software. Most mining software comes with instructions on how to set it up, so follow those closely. Next, you'll need to join a mining pool. Mining pools are groups of miners who combine their computational resources to mine more efficiently. When choosing a pool, consider factors such as the pool's size, payout structure, and fees. Once your software is set up and you've joined a pool, you're ready to start mining. Just open your mining software, input the necessary details such as your pool's address and your Ethereum wallet address, and hit start. And there you have it. It might seem a bit daunting at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's quite straightforward. Remember, the key to successful mining is a combination of the right equipment, the right software, and a little bit of patience. Now that we're all set with the equipment, let's talk about the actual mining process. Now we're at the heart of our discussion, the actual Ethereum mining process. This is where all the magic happens. Let's dig into the step-by-step -step process from setting up the mining rig to receiving the mining reward. First, let's talk about setting up your mining rig. You'll need to install the right software on your computer, and this could be an operating system specifically designed for mining, such as Ethos. Once that's installed, you'll need to set up your Ethereum wallet where your mined Ether will be sent. Next, you'll need to join a mining pool. This is a group of miners who work together to solve blocks and then share the rewards. Joining a mining pool can increase your chances of earning Ether, as it's a much more efficient way to mine than going it alone. Once you're all set up and part of a mining pool, you can start mining your computer will start solving complex mathematical problems. This is essentially a race, as the first miner to solve the problem gets to add the next block to the Ethereum blockchain. During the mining process, your computer is constantly communicating with the Ethereum network. It's processing transactions, verifying them, and adding them to the blockchain. This is where the power of your hardware comes into play, as faster and more powerful hardware can process transactions more quickly. At the same time, your computer is also competing with other miners to solve a complex mathematical problem. The miner who solves the problem first gets to add the next block to the Ethereum blockchain and receives a reward in Ether. The Ethereum network adjusts the difficulty of these problems to ensure that a new block is added approximately every 15 seconds. This keeps the blockchain moving smoothly and ensures a steady supply of Ether. Finally, once a block is successfully mined, the reward in Ether is sent to your Ethereum wallet. This is your payoff for all the hard work your computer has been doing. With this understanding, you're one step closer to becoming an Ethereum miner. So, that's a wrap on the process of mining Ethereum. We've traveled quite a journey together, haven't we? We started by understanding blockchain and Ethereum, unveiling the intricate lattice of interconnected blocks that make up this revolutionary technology. Then we delved into the basics of Ethereum mining, getting familiar with terms like hash rate, difficulty, and gas. We discovered that mining isn't just about having the right gear, but about understanding the underlying principles. Next, we explored the equipment and setup necessary for Ethereum mining. We saw that it's not just about having a powerful rig, but also about maintaining it and optimizing its performance. Finally, we got our hands dirty with the actual mining process. We saw how each block is mined, how transactions are verified, and how new Ethereum is created and rewarded. Remember, Ethereum mining is a journey that requires patience and constant learning. Good luck on your mining adventure!